I'm fighting back with a song of praise I'm fighting back, lifting up your name My quiet voice can make mountains shake Jesus, turn my fear to faith And when there's death, Jesus, you are life When I'm alone, you are by my side I look to you in the darkest night You have shown me how to fight When I'm afraid, I will lift you Tom and Sarah, good to see you guys. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us, yeah, Jimmy. Yeah, good to see you, Jimmy. Man, it's great. We don't often get husband-wife writing teams on the cafe, and so this is really exciting. This is all kinds of things to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't delve too deep, though. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention how you guys do these things with having, like, a little one running around the house. That's the uh, probably the first thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm trying to teach him guitar from a very early age, so... Well, man, Tom, I love these new songs uh, that you've been working on over the last year. And um, the first song that we're going to share from this project is a song called Fighting Back. And uh, man, what a powerful message. 
Uh, and I know you and I, when we talked about this, you were just sharing with me how the message of this song was just really resonating uh, in your community over there in London and at KXC. But I'd love for you guys to talk a little bit about the song. I love the message in it and you know the way this whole idea of that we fight against the thing with our praise but not necessarily with our like with our harsh words or with you know with anger or anything like that but we fight back with uh, songs of praise and um, man it's such a powerful uh, idea but talk about it a little bit and just the inspiration behind the song yeah sure yeah so the song actually is all about um the pandemic and coronavirus and as you say how we how we respond to that and um choosing to worship in the midst of it and um yeah so first got the kind of inspiration for the song a few months ago um uh, lockdown had just started over here in london um i don't know what what it's like in us but over here like a lot of people quite afraid it's unprecedented times um and yeah people were unsure what was going on really uh, and i remember i actually started to feel a little bit ill and start to get some of the symptoms of it um not not too badly but um you know i had the fever and lost sense of smell and all that stuff and i was actually getting quite anxious about the situation um mm. i felt kind of guilty that i'd got this virus and I passed it on to you know i was in the flat with sarah and we've got a little had a little, uh, little boy who was six months at the time, mm -hmm. um, and just, you know, felt guilty about that. And I was also just thinking about um, all that this virus was doing. I mean, it was, uh, you know, it was attacking people who are most vulnerable in society, mm -hmm. frailest people in our society. Uh, the economic consequences, the fear that that was bringing, you know, churches, we couldn't meet. Um, and uh, some churches might not even survive all that's happening because of this pandemic. And just in the midst of that, I just thought, wow, we really need to, to worship with this. Like all these things that are happening is kind of the antithesis of what God does. You know, God is for us. God is good. Uh, God wants his church to flourish. Uh, mm -hmm. And I felt like I was reminded of that verse, I guess, in Ephesians where it talks about our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against what is unseen and all, all the, the spiritual warfare that's going on. Um, so I thought as I was lying in bed ill with this kind of fever, um, I was just, yeah, I reached for my phone and I thought, you know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a key worker. There's not much I can do to help in this situation, but all I can really do is pray and um, choose to worship in the midst of it. And that is actually quite a powerful thing. So I just yeah, reached for my phone and the, the opening lines came out. Um, you know, I'm fighting back with the song of praise. I'm fighting back, lifting up your name. Um, and so, yeah, so that's where the initial part of the song came from. Do you want to talk about the rest of it and how we kind of crafted it? Yeah, yeah. I guess um, we also really wanted the the song just to to capture this theme that you know, although although this pandemic is, is horrible, um, you know, we can see that. And it's not of God, but God is able to to move in it and and use it. Um, you know, looking around, we've we've seen churches sort of come together across the UK in ways we hadn't seen before. Um, you know, you've probably seen the song "The Blessing," and you know, churches all across um, the country just praising um, the Lord um, together. Um, you know, we're seeing things like injustice and oppression being. Um, exposed and you know the, the church is is being redeemed and yeah you know it's it's been horrible um, but we also really wanted to to capture this idea that you know we're scattered but but God's kingdom is still advancing in all these different rooms so mm. yeah wow that's great and yeah I feel like part of the responsibility of of worship songwriters and and even just creatives in general and uh, within the church is, you know, we give people uh, tools and voice to be able to work through these things. And, and I love that, you know, this is a song that's just taking on, you know, kind of this this whole idea and, and the issues around fear and um, that we're not going to let this pull us aside to distract us from what God's called us to do, um, but that we're going to sing even louder. We're going to praise Him 
uh, even uh, louder. And so, um, man, it's just, it's a great tool, I think, in the hands of uh, worship leaders as they're leading their churches through everything, you know, not just the pandemic, but this has been an unusual year. Uh, There's lots going on in the world. And so to give uh, the church uh, tools to be able to to lead their congregations through that, I think is really powerful. Um, Well, thank you, Tom and Sarah. Thanks so much for sharing the song with us. Thanks for writing this song. And uh, we're so excited to partner with you guys on getting it out to all the churches. And so thanks for taking the time all the way from London. Yeah, likewise. Thank you, Jimmy. Yeah, thank you. When I'm afraid, I will lift you up.